we are going to discuss the modulator or generation of VSPSC signals. In similar to SSPSC modulation technique, we also have two types of modulator in VSPSC. The first is frequency discriminator or filter method and the second is phase discriminator or phase method. Now first we take the frequency discriminator or filter method. And here the VSPC signal is generated by passing the DSPC signal via an appropriate filter which is also known as vestigial filter. So first we are going to calculate the transfer function of vestigial filter. The modulated signal and the carrier signal is multiplied by using product modulator or balance modulator and the output of that modulator is your DSPSC signal and which have the representation in frequency domain that is equivalent to 1 by 2 bracket start m omega minus omega c plus m omega plus omega c and the m omega is corresponding to our modulating signal and the omega c is corresponding to our carrier signal. Now this DSPC signal is passed through an appropriate filter which have their transfer function that is H omega. So in frequency domain the DSPC signal is multiplied with transfer function of this appropriate filter which is known as vestigial filter and we get the VSPC transmitted signal that is equivalent to 1 by 2 bracket start m omega minus omega c plus m omega plus omega c bracket close and multiply with the h omega which is the transfer function of vestigial filter now this modulated signal is transmitted through communication channel and at the receiver end we get this signal as received signal now this received signal is multiplied by local oscillator signal by utilizing synchronous detector and this received signal is multiplied by local oscillator signal and after passing low pass filter we get the signal which is equivalent to 1 by 4 bracket start h omega minus omega c plus h omega plus omega c bracket close into m omega so here we observe an important outcome that the term h omega minus omega c plus h omega plus omega c should be equivalent to constant for a duration up to angular frequency of modulating signal that is up to omega m and that is corresponding to cutoff of low pass filter at the receiver end. Now, this is possible if the cut of characteristics of this appropriate filter has a complementary symmetry or odd symmetry around carrier frequency. And if we utilize this characteristics of this filter, then we get the outcome that is corresponding to 1 by 4 into constant into m omega and which is equivalent to our estimate of our modulating signal and that is our desired outcome. Now this characteristics is represented by graphically. Here we consider h omega as per our vestige filter. Then we have s omega plus omega c by frequency shifting operation and again we get h omega minus omega c by utilizing frequency shifting and if we do the addition of h omega plus omega c plus h omega minus omega c then we get the signal that is shown in the figure and here it is clearly observed that the h omega minus omega c plus h omega plus omega c is corresponding to the constant value during the interval from minus omega m to omega m. 
and that is the requirement of this appropriate filter this is known as Westies filter and this is the outcome of filter method now we have discussion about our second method that is phase discriminator or phasing method for the generation of VSBSC signal now as per the introduction we consider first DSPC signal and that DSPC signal is passed from Westies filter that have the transfer function that is H omega so we get the frequency domain mathematical representation of VSBSC which is equivalent to 1 by 2 bracket start m omega minus omega c plus m omega plus omega c bracket close into h omega now as per frequency domain description we consider it into two parts the first part is corresponding to 1 by 2 bracket start m omega minus omega c plus m omega plus omega c and that have their time domain equivalent by considering in a burst transform that is equivalent to m10 to cos omega ct and the second part we consider as per h omega and h omega has their inverse time domain representation that is st so as per vsbc frequency domain equation by considering inverse transform we get the vsbc time domain representation that is equivalent to ST convolution with MT into cos omega ct. So, by considering the convolution formula, we get this equation that is equivalent to integration HT into MT minus tau into cos omega c t minus tau d tau. Now, by utilizing the expression cos A minus B that is equivalent to cos A into cos b plus sin a into sin b we get this vsbc equation which is equivalent to this now by considering mc t signal or mst signal we get the output vsbc equation that is equivalent to mct into cos omega ct plus mst into sin omega ct now this mct is in phase component and we can get this mct by passing through a filter with an impulse response ct and this mct term we can obtain by passing our modulating signal via a filter which have an impulse response acidity and this impulse response acidity is corresponding to 2 into ht into cos omega ct and by considering its frequency domain representation by taking transform of it we get sc omega that is equivalent to h omega minus omega c plus h omega plus omega c as per adjustment derived from filter method this h omega minus omega c plus h omega plus omega c should be equivalent to constant for vestigial filter so this mct term is equivalent to mt with this factor now we take the second mst component which is quadrature phase component and it is also obtained by passing our modulating signal via a filter that have the impulse response hst which is equivalent to 2 into ht into sin omega ct and if we take their frequency domain representation by considering transform then this hs omega is equivalent to 1 by j into bracket start h omega minus omega c minus h omega plus omega c so for getting the mst term we required a filter 
that have transfer function hs omega and this quadrature component mst is calculated now by utilizing mct which is equivalent to mt and mst term we get our vsbc modulated signal that is equivalent to 1 by 2 mt cos omega ct plus 1 by 2 mst into sin omega ct so by utilizing this mathematical equation which have its graphical representation as shown in the figure so here we have mt signal and that is passed from balanced modulator 1 by utilizing a carrier signal cos omega ct now this empty signal is passed from a filter that have their transfer function hs omega corresponding to quadrature component of mst and we get the output signal that is mst now this mst signal is multiplied by sin omega ct by using balanced modulator 2 and by taking the addition of balanced modulator 1 and balanced modulator 2 we get the output signal that is our VSPSC modulated signal so this is corresponding to our phase method so with this mathematical representation it is also known as the filter method corresponding to frequency domain behavior of VSPSC signal and the phasing method is corresponding to time domain behavior of VSBC signal. Thank you very much for your resistance and please subscribe this channel for getting regular updates.